A coffee shop is running a promotion where a number of free coffee samples are given away each day. The equation above can be used to model the number of free coffee samples, y, that remain to be given away x days after the promotion began. What does it mean that 11, 0 is the solution to this equation? This is another one of those questions. We saw one in the previous series in uh, the no calculator series about the meaning of lines, taking a linear equation and understanding what it means. In that question, it was about what the y-intercept and the slope meant, particularly the slope. And in this question, it's about what a solution or what a point plugged into the equation means. So the first thing I want to do is, again, like we did in that previous episode, rearrange this to get this into y equals mx plus b form. So that's going to be y is equal to negative 110x plus 1210. So now they're telling us that 11, 0 is a solution. And let's define what these coordinates mean based on what the problem says. So the x coordinate is the number of days after the promotion began. So days after promotion began. Now what about y? y is the number of coffee samples that remain to be given away. So basically it's how many coffee samples they have left. So number of coffee samples left. So if we were to then figure out what this point represents without looking at the choices, it's saying after 11 days, they are out of coffee samples to give out. So let's look at the choices. During the promotion, 11 samples are given away each day. No. We'll come back to this one in a second to talk about actually how many are given away each day. It takes 11 days during the promotion to see 1,210 customers. Be very careful. We're given away a certain amount of coffee, and we'll talk about where this number is coming from in a second, but we're not talking about the number of customers. Nothing here says anything about the number of customers. It doesn't say anything like we give one packet away to each customer and one only. This is not about the customers. It's about the packets. It takes 11 days during the promotion until none of the samples are remaining. Yes, it's exactly what we said. 11 days after the promotion, we are out of samples. So that looks good. There are 11 samples available at the start of the promotion. No. That would be like if you sort of flipped it, I guess. Anyway, best choice here is C. So for some bonus material, let's break down this equation. This is obviously something that's asked in the question directly, but we can break this down to understand, just like we did for the previous episode on this topic, what the y-intercept means and what the slope means. So let us draw a little graph here. So... The y-intercept is 1,210. So this is going to be the point 0, 1,210. And then this has got a negative slope, so we're going to get something like this. I'm just going to do it in the first quadrant. So notice, by the way, that this is going to have to be the point 11, 10. So we'll come back to that in a second. Oh, sorry, 11, 0. First things first, this y-intercept, what does it mean? Well, on day 0, in other words, at, before we've begun giving out any coffee at all, this y represents the number of coffee samples left. So this is, like we said in the previous video, it's the starting amount. We are beginning this promotion with 1,210 coffee samples. And that's kind of what they're trying to make you think here. Like it's 1,210 customers, but it's really coffee samples. But nothing to do with what's going on in, in this problem, right? It's really for the starting point. At zero days, you have 1,210 coffee samples to give out. So this is the number of coffee samples you're starting with. What is the slope? Well, the slope is telling you each day, so after one day, after two days, you are going to be giving out 110 samples each day. And remember, slope is delta y over delta x, or in this case, it's going to be the change in coffee packets over the change in days. Right? That's what y and x are defined as. So since the coffee packets is the, uh, since this slope is negative 110, which is the same thing as negative 110 over 1, this tells you how one quantity changes when the other quantity changes. So for every one day of change, we are going to give away 110 packets, right? We're going to lose 110 packets. And you can see that, right? As we go across one day, we go down 110. Across one day, down 110. Across one day, down 110. 
We do this all the way until we get to the final step where we're completely out on day 11. We're completely out of coffee samples because each of those days we've given out 110. And if you check it, 110 times 11 is 1,210. So totally makes sense, totally consistent. So that was just a little bonus. You didn't need all of this to answer the question, but I just wanted to review how we understand this equation in terms of the real life quantities. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.